Um, bearing in mind the number of community cases which we haven't seen since the last circuit breaker, can I ask what's your response to calls to go back into full circuit breaker mode? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I thought this would be asked, but it's a very difficult question to ask at this time. Um, because, you know, this is a particularly difficult time to answer that question because you can see the cases rising and whether the trajectory goes exponentially up or flatten, which did happen uh, Chinese New Year this year. We saw cases going up and then it flattened and then it disappeared. And how, which direction it goes, uh, we will only know in the coming days. So, uh, so all I can say is as of now, we need to monitor the situation and then come to a decision later. And I don't give that answer because I want to stall the question. We genuinely need to have some questions answered. Number one, for example, today is the first day we impose more stringent measures, uh, social distancing measures, and today is the first day, in fact. And this time round, we decided to remove the most high-risk settings, meaning enclosed space, crowded, no mask. It hits the restaurants the most. Huh? Uh, and so by removing the most risky settings, I think we make, will make an impact. And furthermore, there is also an indirect impact because once these places are closed, the general activity do go down. We find ourselves going out much less frequently. We will find ourselves going out much less frequently. And uh, home-based learning is coming on stream early uh, middle of next week. I think that will reduce activity even more. So what is the impact of that? We know there will be an impact. I think we will only know in the coming days. Second is, uh, I mentioned earlier, where you're pairing ART with PCR now and able to detect cases much faster. And so in the coming days, uh, we are also monitoring how will the cases surface? Are we able to flush out surface, uh, cases much more quickly? in the coming days, and we also want to find out that answer. Thirdly is something we are currently studying, which is what is the severity of the disease amongst those who are vaccinated or amongst those who got infected by someone who is vaccinated. And this is something that MOH is studying. We're still looking through the data. As of now, we can say that uh, for the 76 individuals who were vaccinated at least with one dose, uh, due to the current, uh, this, this round of outbreak, none require ICU, uh, but we need to dive deeper into the data and as more days go by. So really, seek answers to these questions and uh, when the time is right, we will make the right decisions. And if it has to come to more stringent measures, as Lawrence has said in the last MTF, we will do so. And if it's a CB, we will say it is a CB. Yeah.